Hello, world. It's John Pinto, your roving realtor, bon vivant, video blogger, rank and tour, podcaster, and home chef. And today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, a friend of mine who will go unnamed, although he is a good Irishman, of which I was uh, drinking bourbon and smoking cigars with. And he was telling me uh, that uh, he was thinking about selling his specialty roofing business to one of his big vendors who uh, wanted to get into that business. And I'm immediately thinking when he sells his business, he's going to get hammered. Uh, so uh, uh, let's talk about structured installment sales as it pertains to selling a business. This is John Dudek with Sage Settlements. John, you have the phone. You have the floor. Yeah. Thanks, John. Good to be with you as always. Um, you know, we've been talking in this series about uh, how structured installment sales apply to real estate sales, but really the the crux of it is the installment method of accounting, which we use in this investment, uh, can be applied to many highly appreciated assets. Uh, so real estate comes to mind very quickly, but uh, selling a business really has the same principles. If you've you know started from you know, very small business and grown it into something successful, guess what? The value's gone up quite a bit over those years, and you're going to be subject to capital gains taxes if you do make a sale. So this is just another tool for those business owners to uh, utilize the sales price and, and get as much out of it as they possibly can. I would imagine with the uh, business owners that are selling, they've got a unique uh, problem in that their basis in the business is going to be relatively low. They may have some furniture, fixtures, and equipment, uh, but most of the value in the business is going to be in the accounts, uh, in the uh, income and expense statements, and the capitalized value of the past and predictable income, which means that that, that income is mostly uh, taxable blue sky, based upon the buyer's anticipation of earnings. Uh, and there's nothing in the basis that is going to help shield that highly appreciated uh, uh, business. Is that a correct observation, would you say? Yeah, I'd say so. You know, unless they the business owner purchased a already successful business from someone else and then, you know, went ahead yeah. and and just kind of grew it a little bit. But for the most part, small business owners, they start from, like I said, very, very little. And now they've grown it into something a lot more significant. And with that comes appreciation. And guess what? Uncle Sam says you got to pay us taxes when you've uh, built yourself a, a successful business. Yeah, that's a very unique uh, conundrum uh, for them to face because, yes, they may have bought the business from somebody else. Uh, they may have added some furniture, fixtures, and equipment, uh, which is going to provide some kind of a basis. Uh, they are going to have to deal with whatever their accumulated depreciation was on the recapture. Uh, but uh, I would say they would still be subject to uh, most of the sales price being the capitalized value of the past and future cash flow, which is going to be probably taxable at a uh, around 20% uh, federal, 13.3% uh, state in California, and 3.8% uh, Medicare tax. Would you say that that's uh, accurate? Yeah, I'd say that's accurate. Um, it is something that's going to apply to all those uh, tax rates that you mentioned. Uh, there are a few, when selling a business compared to real estate, there are a few items that you need to um be aware of that you go over with your CPA. I, as we've said before, uh, I'm a uh, installment broker and you are a real realtor. We are not CPAs. So you want to make sure that you're uh, talking to your tax professional. But if you're looking to do some initial research, we've mentioned these uh, before. There's a IRS publication called 537 that talks about the installment method of accounting. It has specific sections for selling real estate and also for selling a business that kind of give you a step-by-step -step guide that obviously your CPA is going to lead the way on that. But if you wanted to do some self-education, it's a great place to start. Very good. So let's articulate for these uh, potential business owners on what the tax thresholds are in terms of 
how much cash they would take out of the sale and the year of sale and how much they would take annually in subsequent years to uh, reduce their tax brackets uh, from, let's say, uh, federal 20 to 15 percent, state from 13.3 to 9 percent, and completely eliminate the Medicare tax of 3.8 percent, which by my calculation is over 13 percent uh, savings in income tax rates. How would you structure and financially model that installment sale. Yeah, so we'd look at uh, kind of the sweet spot, as you've mentioned, is getting rid of that uh, net investment tax, which is 3.8% over uh, any sale of $250,000 or more if you're married filing jointly, and it's $200,000 if you are a single tax filer. So if we can keep your annual payments, whether they're, they're received monthly or annually or quarterly, whatever, your month, your annual tax hit in that year under those thresholds. So it's under 250,000 for married filing jointly. Um, now all of a sudden you've wiped out 3.8% of potential taxes uh, and you've gotten yourself into a lower tax bracket federally, so 20% to 15%. And you've gotten yourself into, it's between 8.3, 8 9.3% uh, in the state taxes, again, depending on your, your filings. but that puts you in a really good situation. And so depending on the basis of your business, what, you know, what it was worth when you started and, and what you're selling it for, we can kind of work backwards to say, here's how long we need to spread out this sale uh, over six years, eight years, 10 years to make sure where you're, you're getting the best and most favorable tax treatment uh, when you're, when you're receiving those payments. Right. And uh, I think it's important to contrast uh, the scenario you just financially modeled to if they sold for cash, they would probably uh, be paying 37 uh, percent of their profits out in uh, income taxes. And that's not even counting whatever recaptured depreciation they were dealing with, which might come back at a higher taxable rate. Um, and they are dealing with 100% of their proceeds going into the annuity, which will be uh, paying them on a monthly or annual basis, rather than dealing with uh, 63% dollars if they sold it for cash and then reinvested it someplace else. Can you articulate that a little bit more? Yeah, I think that's a, a great point is you're you're able to take your full sales price and put it into an investment that's going to earn interest over time. And, you know, read any book you want about the power of compounding interest. The more you can get into that sort of investment and, and have it work for you over a period of time, uh, the better it's going to be. So you get the full sales price, pre-tax earning interest. Uh, you also get the deferral and hopefully if we were, were you know, doing the right planning, the lowering of the capital gains over time, and you're turning that sale of a business into a reliable, steady, guaranteed stream of income uh, over whatever period of time is appropriate for your situation. And that's, I would imagine most people selling a business are looking to do that because they're, they may not going to, or they're not going to work anymore. So uh, most people that are heading into retirement really like reliable, guaranteed streams of income so that they can really plan out uh, the, the remainder of their of their years. Right. So you've basically traded your life as a entrepreneurial business owner with all the challenges and time demands that that has uh, for tax advantaged um, annuity cash flow. There. Yeah, you said it perfectly. That's right. Very good. Very good. So uh, uh, thank you very much for watching this video. This video is a series in our playlist for structured installment sales. Uh, please watch, like, share, subscribe, get hit the notifications button and uh, look at the prior ones uh, and uh, watch out for the future ones. So thanks again for watching and we will see you on the next video. Bye for now.